What's up guys? Um, I'm back with another WGU video for resources. Um, this one is actually on cloud development um, deployment, my bad, and operations C9, C924. So for the resources I used for this class is only one site and everyone's pretty familiar with this site. It is unimay.com. This site has been nothing but useful when it comes to WGU. I personally hate the U certified material. Um, it seems outdated at times, and especially for the SysOps exam, they recommend that you have three years experience before you take the certification test. And with U certified and only having six months with your semester, you got to find some other resources to help you out. So these are the resources I used, Udemy.com. They recently rolled out a new feature called Udemy Pro. So Udemy Pro is, let me load it up really quick. So it's a guided learning experience designed to help students accomplish IT certification goals. Um, this is a subscription base. You have a seven day trial to Udemy Pro and after that it will be a recurring fee of $19.99 per month. So with this, you will learn AWS certified developer, become confident in creating basic Python PHP to in AWS, become Amazon certified. And this has tons of resources. So in front of you, you're probably seeing right now is the Udemy uh, screen. You can see they have certified cloud practitioner all of these AWS certifications. They have Microsoft Azure um, right here with you. So you can get certified in Azure, CompTIA A+, Network+, Security+, Pen Tests, CYSA+, CISP. They have tons of information. This is a resource that I would recommend. Um, $20 a month, you know, set aside each paycheck. $10 if you get paid bi-weekly, $5 weekly, monthly $20. Um, cut back some costs if you can't afford it. It's something that I highly recommend. So to start off, if you're wanting to take your SysOps operations, uh, SysOps administrator exam, I would re recommend this. I would start off with this course, the AWS Certified Solutions Architect. Reason, reason being is this starts you from learning the basic foundations of AWS, EC2, you know, elastic load balancers, um, elastic cache, all that good stuff, you know. This starts you off to make sure you have a strong foundation of AWS before you get to the SysOps course. And while you're at this course, once you finish it, he has some resources at the bottom for, you know, taking your certification test, how to get extra 30 minutes on your certification. And I would recommend, since you're at it, take this certification, pay 150, learn how AWS does their certification. Um, if their exam is different from CompTIA, and if you wanna do online, or if you wanna go in person, uh, AWS has two options. And once you get this certification, definitely move on to the SysOps Administrator course. Um, I believe it's only 16 hours, 17 hours, um, and this one is 23 hours. So once you finish this one, start certification, uh, certified SysOps, go through all this material. It's basically an overview of what you learned in the SAA class, our Solutions Architect Association, our associate course and but it adds a little bit more material to it so that's what i recommend guys um following these you know recommendations this class you can easily knock out in three weeks if you put some time to it um personally for me it's taken almost a month to a half a half because i did not know about this resource until it was too late and um, I was already past a month, so 
that's what I recommend. If you have any questions, um, if you have any other resources you want to comment, definitely comment below, like this video, subscribe, and I'll be out with more material. Thank you.